Hey guys, it is Sharon. Do I do that every time? I think I might. I just realized that. Hi, it's Sharon from Little Britain Company. And um, today I have a very crafty Timu haul for you. I have a few things that aren't crafty, but it's mostly a crafty Timu haul. Um, I'll show you my earrings for today. They're really cute. I should even take one off so you can see them. These are some of my Timu earrings. little buddies. Love these little buddies. How are y'all doing? Doing good? Had a good week? So I'm very excited to dive right in because I have found, um, it's been a while since I did a Timu haul and this time I went crafty crazy. So let's get started. Um, like I said, I'm going to start with a couple of things that aren't crafty and then a couple of things. Um, I did pick up, uh, this, um, uh, SD card little thing um, not I don't know it was like a dollar or two it was very inexpensive uh, this is just for our camera so I was excited to find that especially for that price it's a good deal um, and then I picked up I think these are I've got some earrings and this stuff this is all I have that is not crafty I picked up this and I am very excited about it this is let me get this thing off of here and I'll show you this is for your uh, Stanley Cups. Or for those of us who like to get them from Timu, um, I know there's been a big kind of weird scare about uh, the Stanley Cups and whether they have lead in them. There is a lead ballast, I guess something like that, uh, weight in them. But I think that the people who are testing them aren't washing them before they test them which means you're gonna have residue left over. Not that there should be lead residue on your stuff, but you know, um, okay, look at that. So I wanted to get this so I could carry it around. You know, you wanna, I wanna be able to carry my, my, um, my Stanley mug around when I want to and Sometimes you want your hands free. I love this. So, I mean, I, could, I don't have to have this on it. I could just carry this around. But look at this little additional pouch. So, it ho will hold my phone. All right, there we go. I'm trying to... Uh... So, that should hold my phone... And then something else, you know, whether you want to put, they have, they, they sewed the zipper on kind of funky. I mean, not, they just didn't zip and unzip it. So it works like it does now. There you go. So you've got a spot in there. You can attach your keys here. I just thought this could be very handy. I imagine this would be handy for someone who's like um, college kids, or we actually have kids at our school who carry these. Uh, there are Stanley mugs around. So this could be very handy because, you know, you can just put the, you can make it as long as you want. Now I am relatively tall, I suppose. Put this in here. And so I would want it to be pretty, pretty tall. That's interesting. And like everything with Timu, sometimes it's going to take a little extra effort. There we go to get this through. There we go. That's doing it. We have the heat on, but ooh, it is too hot. All right, here we go. Look at that. I mean, it, it really comes down to my side. I like that. That's good. Okay. That, ooh, was exciting. Um, earrings today. So, where did I put my phone piece? Now that I've rearranged my desk and it's all nice and clean, um, can't find anything. <laughs> I can't find anything. That's actually not true. I actually get everything, but for the most part, there are a couple of things I haven't brought back in, and one of them was the phone piece. But that's okay. I'll show you what I did get. Look at those absolutely stinking cute bunnies. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to wear these. I'm going to start wearing them right away. They're so cute. And these 
I'm definitely wearing those to work. Aren't they cute? It's like little kissing bunnies. They're adorable. So, so cute. I don't buy as much jewelry as I used to. Oh, one of them just went down. Where'd it go? There we go. So then I also got, so I have these on, which are similar to this style. But oh, I love that little old fashioned. <laughs> oh, I love that little old fashioned earring. Um, bunny. I'm trying to hold still. He's so cute. He's painting eggs. And then these are so cute. Can you see those little cute white bunnies? Loving it. So, but St. Patrick's Day is on the way. So I had to get, I'm to try this one. I had to get these. I had to. They're so cute. I think they still have their layer on them. But I'll show them to you. I think they may still have plastic on the front. Oh my golly. Oh my golly. I, I can't wait to wear this. Now I've got to decide what to wear tomorrow. My, um, my brother and his wife are flying in and they're meeting up with their daughter who's going there. They live on the West Coast. So their daughter goes to school on the East Coast and she is just the sweetest person. The, the whole family is just the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. Sorry. And so uh, they're coming in. I think they're, they came in tonight. And uh, so we're going to go tomorrow. Today's Friday. We're going to go tomorrow and spend the day with them. I'm very excited. Very excited to see them. Um, haven't seen them in a while. So, well, I've seen my uh, my sister-in-law because she was at the beach with us. So if you saw those beach videos, she was at the beach with us, um, which was wonderful because she's just very sweet. <laughs> very, very sweet. Okay. Let me show you. Uh, oh, I did say, I, I guess I was including this in my thought process of being um crafty because it's for my crafting but i bought a few of these containers um so i have one of these and then i bought two of this kind of longer um longer one and i think those are going to be perfect they're just really a nice size for different things depending on what you need to store in them. Little Bert may need to steal one for school, but you know, cause boys and pencil cases, they need them, but they're, yeah, they're boys. That's all I have to say about that. They're boys. Okay, so, so a little organization and um, some things I'm very excited about. Just got to move it out of the way. I'm not sure which way to put this. Okay, so I found these scissors. These are supposedly um, Taylor scissors, or they are very big. But Those are, okay, so they are very nicely done, titanium look. Um, they've got, can you see that? They've got kind of that almost extra loop to them, which I believe is part of the idea. I think I'm gonna have to clean them before I want to cut fabric with them. I like the feel of them. They don't open easily. I'm excited to try them. Um, I have a penchant for scissors when I find especially good sewing scissors. So I found these. And then I found these cute little ones. I thought these were adorable. If I am able to, I will post um, everything. I'll post the, the list. 
that is not always, you can't always do that. It's not always available. So these are like little, see that? Let me see if I can do that. They call them smile scissors. I don't know why. It's there. Super sharp, by the way. That is, that is quite the tip. Do you see that? So those are gonna live in there. But for snipping my, th my threads and things, those could be very useful. Ooh, the card. Never see it come with a card, huh? And the card means nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, then, for my, ooh, for my sewers out there, I bought some different feet. This one is uh, like a rolled edge one. And this one, did I end up with two of these? Yeah, I think it was a two pack for some reason. So they're the same. Um, if you can you know, really see that. So you're meant to put the, uh, basically you put your, um, your fabric in here and then as it sews, it, it actually is rolling that edge down to give you a nice hem. So I thought that was cool. This is something I see in regular stores for a lot more than this. So this is your ultimate quilt and stitch presser foot. Um, it creates parallel lines for you. So when you're doing quilting, if you're not a quilter, so when you're, when you're quilting something, um, what you are really doing is creating parallel lines, a whole bunch of them. Sometimes you do, you know, parallel lines and then you turn your fabric and you do another parallel lines. This is just for general quilting, not like the fancy designs. Um, but that will actually show you your space from your last line. I'm super excited to try this. Super excited. Can't wait to try that one. Uh, and then I might as well show you all of the sewing things first. Um, so this is funny. So the description on Timu for this pack of, of um, for this pack, let me show you the inside, was that these were chalk. These were for your sewing and these were chalk. And I thought that's great. You know, a whole bunch of different chalk pencils, different colors, that really is helpful because sometimes, you know, uh, chalk washes out. So it's, it's one of my more favorite things to use. The other ones, you have some that are supposed to um, disappear in the air. Well, they don't always work. And even if they disappear in the air, if it's hot enough or cold enough, they'll come back, the marks come back. So, but chalk just washes out. So I was super excited about these. And they came in and I'm holding the pack and I'm like, it's really heavy for chalk. Even if it has an outer something on it, it's heavy for chalk. Do y'all remember these? Anybody remember these? Um, and and uh, I was actually talking to, to Kate about these and she's the one who, who remembered the name. They're, they're grease pencils. You don't wanna use these on fabric. Um, so I don't want them to be them. Not chalk. Do not buy those for, for your, uh, for your fabric needs. Um, okay. And the last sewing, well, ish. So then I found this cute little pack of pre-cut hexagons. And this is, um, all these beautiful, Asian fabrics and they really are they really are nice this uh, by the way I smell this is the thing that kind of smells a little bit I think I'm gonna need, gonna need to put it outside a little bit or um, but let me show you what what I got in this pack I have no idea if if you ordered this pack if you would get the same things but I think you probably would I think they're just taking you know the the big things of fabric in there cutting them down. I am really liking this. I certainly, I know I'm going to put a few things together. This would, this is not going to make you a quilt. You would need quite a few of these packs. Um, but it's going to make you some really cool designs. Um, 
there are metallic elements to most of these pages. I think all of these pages, uh, pay, uh, materials. So I would not use these, even though it's supposed to be cotton, I would not use this on, oh, anything that might be subjected to heat, like a hot pad or, isn't that cute? Um, I wouldn't do those things. Uh, but I, my thought with these is I think I'm going to make some really cute um, pin cushions. I'm kind of excited to try to, to look at it and, and uh, figure it out. So, there we go. But they're really, really pretty. This is the kind of pack my mother would have loved. This would have been her thing. She loved, you know, almost <laughs> pretty much anything Asian. She really did. She just uh, found it very aesthetically pleasing. And it's gorgeous. So, of course. Almost there. That one's so pretty. All right. There you go. So, you get, I, don't, I think it's like 40 in there. I don't know how much that would do. You probably do a baby blanket. Um, that would be my guess that you could probably do a baby blanket. But I, my intention is to use these and do some cool, um, pin cushions. <laughs> it only takes me a minute to come back to what I mean to say. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm just like, I just laid a little bit. I can't tell you. I'm sorry. But, um, it's really pretty. So I'm really tickled with this one. I'm happy with this one. I will also tell you the quality of this fabric. It is very, very nice. This is, this is high. It's a thick fabric. Um, it is, it is high quality. It's very nice. So loving that one. Goodbye. Okay. So since we're on the, um, since we're talking about sewing, I wanted to show you, so if you recall, I bought from Hobby Lobby a boatload of their faux leather. And I didn't even show you guys all of it because I went back after I showed you on my last Hobby Lobby haul. Um, and I'll, I'll try to remember. I'll try to remember it. If I don't, somebody tell me. Um, I will try to remember to link that <clears throat> in the description so you can look at that Hobby Lobby haul because they still have some of that stuff. And um, anyway, so I bought a ton of it. Um, but I had some ideas about what I wanted to do. Originally, I just bought some of it and then I ran into this and I got super excited. So let me show you why I'm so excited. I also did things like, um, made some of these little bags. This one is, I made one of this tall and then the other one's like that tall. It's way over there. <laughs> so, um, I made one, like, but this one is, this one would be more for, you know, pencils or uh, this actually fits something like this. It's about the size of your pencils. You can actually put it right in there. Pull that, pull that taunt. There we go. Um, but there's the, there's the faux leather. And I, I was scrolling through Timu and I thought, I wonder if there's something I can do with, you know, something else I could do with this. This was before I went back and got a ton more. And I came across leather templates. And I thought, I can sew through this. So something like this, this should not be a difficulty. So this is like a luggage tag. I can't wait to try this. I will be doing a tutorial on it. I might just be trying it with you all while I look at it. Um, it came well packaged. So when I figured out that they had all of these things, I bought a bunch and then I ordered more. So there's another team we order coming in. So this is, I think this is a keychain. If I recall, I've got to look back and see what some of these are supposed to be. I'm, I just can't tell you how stoked I am to try these. And then there's this, if I can get into it, this one. Oh, so this one, I think this one's going to be really cool. 
this one actually makes like a card holder and you can tell that they've got like a almost like a little wallety type thing this stuff makes me happy um and i found some simple things so if i wanted to make uh let's say i wanted to make like a dangle keychain type thing where i just wanted there to be a um like a nice leathery design on the bottom. Look at that one. I think that heart is adorable. And I think I saw, so you could, I mean, it, the, the dots are great. So if you have a, one of the long pins, and I do, she bought it from Timu. If you have one of the long pins, it, that, uh, with the, it has a long tip. So the pin isn't necessarily long, but the tip, it's unencumbered by the casing. So you can stick it in here and make the marks if you wanted to. So two of those together is gonna to make a little tiny pouch. Adorable. Just adorable. Um, yeah, I went kind of crazy on these because I was so excited to find something like this that would really work with, um, or that I thought would really work with this uh, leather. So this one is super cool. This makes, I'll have to, uh, it'll be in the design, but in, in the description, this makes like a little origami piece or it looks origami-ish. Little crane. And this one this is another, like, um, just a little simple wallet. So you basically cut it out of this, fold it in half, so along the two lines, and you're done. I like that. I think that is lovely. These were pretty well packaged. Okay. Put that in there. Okay, this one actually makes a little coin purse. So when you you cut around here and then you fold this piece over and then this piece comes down and you put the snap on those sides. Really easy peasy. Uh, the, the other thing I was thinking that, that these things would work really well with would be, um, by the way, this thing actually really stinks. This really has to be aired out. I'm just moving it away from it because it's too close. Um, is the faux leather that you get from Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree has that faux leather and it's in, it's really intended to be used with the Cricut, but I don't know. With the people that I've watched, I'm not really sure that I have seen people get a lot of success out of doing it that way. But this way could be very successful. And... Um, and then I found these, and I know you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to see what they are when I show. I don't think so. Let me show you what what I'm looking at here. No, oh, maybe you can. So this one, when you cut it out and then you cut through these, so this is gonna be its own. This is actually gonna come off somewhat, and you'll draw and you'll cut around this guy. When you do that, and then you sew together just a few pieces, it turns into this. Um, bowl. So we have a bowl and a frog and a hippo and a cat. And what's this last one? Oh, this is like a, um, a dinosaur. Can't think of the name. <clears throat> so these are very cute and these are just decorative. Yeah, that didn't come out right, but they're just decorative. So, cute. They're really cute. And I, I am very excited to try try those out. Oh, how excited to try those out. Okay. Um, moving on. So, I also, I did, I it had been a little bit since I had done a team new order. And, um... Big Brit is not doing this one with me because it really was mostly just craft items. 
It was like, that's, that's more my thing. So he didn't have any orders with this one. That's supposed to be. Oh, I know what that's supposed to be. Really? All right, something just flew off when I took that off. Something that shouldn't fly off. There we go. I fixed it. This is really just a simple This needs to be snapped back on. Maybe that's what that is. Okay. So this piece has come off. I'm gonna try to snap it back on again. Yeah, just to be gentle with it. So it's on. Um, I just, I thought that this would be something to try. I'm sh I know I've got a ton of different things I can do with this. Even if I'm just putting paper scraps in it or project stuff in it, um, you know, I can use it for crafting or I can use it for work. Either way, it's gonna be great. So I like that one. These big envelopes. Um, then, I'll show you this one. See if you can see this one. Can you see these amazing bunny silhouettes, this stencil? So when I ordered it, I, I try to pay attention to sizing. This is big. This is what, 12 by 12 or something? Something nutty. Yeah, this is 12 by 12. So it'll fit on a 12 by 12 sheet. And so this bunny would be so cute on one side and then, you know, your pictures or your journaling or something, but it definitely needs a 12 by 12. Now it's got a smaller one-ish right here. And then um, they're all kind of hidden, but this one is just the head. What's that? A little, a little grassy. Um, I think it's really cute. I really do. I love the bunny designs. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. I may actually do here something in my media center. Be cool. So that is a bunny is not our emblem or our mascot. So, um, so let me show you. Let me show you these. I'll move this. I have everything sorted for you today. So I bought two of these. Um, I just realized I should probably take off some of the plastic on them so you can see it better. They really have that plastic in there. So these are just little, um, they're just little containers. And they have um, adhesive in them, which I hope holds well because I wanted to stick these uh, right up right up to my wall. Um, and we'll see. We'll see whether they hold. I'm hoping the adhesive has to be really good for them to hold much of anything. Um, but I thought it would be nice to have, I keep looking for more organizational pieces as I've been working a little bit on my organization in here. I have been taking videos. So when it's done, I will share the whole organizing video with you guys. So a little bit of video here and a little bit of video there. <laughs> A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, so those were, those are super fun. Okay. So, okay, let me put those aside because y'all know I have charms. You know I do. Put that one. Okay, we've got that one. I did purchase some stamps and some die cuts uh, this time around. Um, I have a lot of stamps and die cuts now, mostly from Timu. Um, but, and I have them organized over here. At least my stamps are fairly well organized, but my die cuts still not as much. So I picked up one of these. I had got that on it. Oh, I see. Where did those things go? So... They actually don't come all put together like this. I stopped and I put it together so that you all could see what it should be. And I'm gonna, I, I missed something because I didn't realize this went the way this is supposed to go with it. If I can get it through. 
So I had to put, I put in all the plastic pieces. There we go. And now I'm finishing. This was not attached. So I just, I just stopped and attached it really quickly. They give you a black and a white, so you get to choose which one you want on there. Um, so this is for organizing my die cuts in particular, and they're all different size bags. I mean, this is very complete. I do have some metal sheets, but not enough. So I'm excited to use this one. Very excited to get going on that one. Now, the rest of it, you're gonna need the camera angle down. So, be right back. So, let's start with the die cuts. This is so fun. You see the size of this bunnies? I don't wanna take it out of here because I'm gonna lose pieces. It's really very much peeps, but look at how cute those are. I will say as it gets bigger, it's not, I don't know. I can't wait to cut it out and see if, if they all really do look like peeps. So that one was pretty cool. And this die cut, oh my goodness. So you have Easter and you have, um, oh my golly, I don't know what that one says. I tried to turn them all around, but I think I, think I thought this one was gonna work and it's not. I'm turning this one around. Oh, blessings. And then, Easter across this again, and these wonderful little bunnies. Oh my gracious, look at all those. This is, this is just super cute. Love, love it. I'm gonna try to bring down some light here, a little bit more. Nope, oh, it's gonna pop right back up again. Lovely. <laughs> Sorry, I just got loud. Um, purchased this, this one I believe makes a little pouch or an envelope. I probably have to look back at it again. Sometimes when you see them like this, you're like, what was that? Um, but I do believe that this actually cuts out a little pouch. This might be part of the leather grouping. Let's see, see what if it, I'll, I'll try to figure it out and I might put it in the description. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of these together. So I got some really really pretty stamp, snap sets, stamp sets, snap sets. And along with them, I did, per, you know, I did purchase some of the die cuts. Look at how cute that one is. Here we go. So you've got this wonderful, happy, easeful, e if only I could speak. Happy Easter. Thank you very much. Be grateful. May the spirit of Easter May the spirit of Easter as, and the joy of springtime fill your life with happiness. Bunny kisses and Easter wishes. I love that one. And I love this little guy. He is so stinking cute. And so he will go with... If only I could open it. Helps if you use the correct side. So... He works, he'll be completely cut out with that one. We've got the little chick there. And that one, so cute. And then I found this, this happy Easter. Make me so happy. Um, sending you Easter wishes. Super cute. But it also had a die cut. Look how cute that is. I I really do. When I can find the ones that are going to really um, cut them out and outline them for me. Now, this particular order, I was hoping it would come in before Valentine's Day, and it did not. But I'm okay with that because these guys are so stinking cute. They're just adorable. They really are. And, of course... They came with their own cutout. So we have, let's see, we have our little bunny here. And then our hedgehog. Let's, I just like to make sure that it all works. Our little kitten. What's this one? 
Oh, that's this guy, the little mouse, maybe? Is that a mouse? And, and that guy? <laughs> and your little bear. Oh, it's so cute. And you can see I'm, I'm, I got very Easter excited. Found some great Easter things. So we have these wonderful dwarves. And then these wonderful um, cutouts. Look at that. Love it. So cute. I think that one's upside down. So cute. Okay, and then this, these do not, these last ones don't have a cutout with them or a die cut, but I love these designs. This would be perfect on a um, dictionary page um, with a little watercolor. Oh my goodness, look at this one. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. This one's perfect for a card, um, but it's so cute. Those bunnies have some serious personality. So cute. And our final bunnies. I wish I had been able to find the die cut for this one. I think they had a die cut, but they were sold out for right now. So love those. Really, really, really love those. I'm going to put them right in my little book here. I'm just going to stick them inside so I don't lose them. works well. Um, okay, and then I got some really amazing paper. Oh my word. So I ordered these. Now these are, you've seen me do this before with, these are supposed to be like postcards. Um, and I've said before, and I do mean it, that Timu uh, paper is actually one of their more expensive things that you buy from Timu. So, but these are gorgeous. These postcards, and they're just plain on the back, but you, you just add it. I mean, it's really, they'll work as a postcard. They are, oh my golly, gorgeous. <gasps> Aren't they cute? Maybe I, maybe I should scooch in a little bit. Oh, that's scooching out. You can see a little bit of mess on the desk. That's not a mess that stays. That's just from today. No, I did it again. Too close. Okay. I don't mean to be, I'm sorry. I, I hope I didn't make you dizzy. But I just want you to see these gorgeous cards they uh, they really are. I'm honestly I can't say enough about these I think they're wonderful I'm gonna use them in a uh, journal um, possibly I'm gonna um, I think I also might want to make a um, an album with some of these but they're just so beautiful look at this oh I might make some of my little notebooks from these just to add this to my notebooks and then if that wasn't enough, you get two sets of these really gorgeous stickers. I'm gonna scoot that in a little bit. They are amazing. And, and two sets of these. So you get these beautiful big ones here. And then look at these, they're, they're like stamps. They would be really, really cute. Something like these. Really cute on a little postcard or something that was coming from the Easter Bunny. Wouldn't those be cute? So cute. Okay, let me pull out just a wee bit. Because I bought these three packs of paper. Um, I thought they looked really interesting. And so I wanted to try them out. So let's take a look. I love how they come. This is like a bag. It's like a whole little bag. You can use them for this. I am sure I'm going to be adding these into journals, the bags themselves. Wow, are you ready for this? So cute. All right, I'm, try I'm gonna take a quick look. Okay, so you get two, looks like three of each close. I'll figure it out. Three of those. Three of those. Oh my goodness. 
These are really pretty. Three of those. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Um, so the paper feels good. It's a wee bit thin. This is not um, a heavy duty paper. I love the images. And it's easy enough to attach this to cardstock. I really, really am loving these images. Oh, wow. They're just so well done. Okay, so that's the first pack. Let me put it back in its cute little container. And then this is the second one. Honestly, I'm just I'm blown away by some of the the um, lovely packaging. Oh my golly, I love this one. All right, guys, it's ready for this next one because oh my, he's so cute. He's so stinking cute. So you certainly have. Um, different options with this. Look at him. I'm loving all of it. I have to say I am loving this very St. Patrick's Day E pack. These are so cute. And certainly not all of these have to be a St. Patrick's Day. I think the gnomes are pretty much, that, but that would go for anything. Do. Oh, these would be really pretty on the front of a card. Just like that. Just gorgeous. Just on the front of a card with a with a nice um, sentiment on the inside. Oh man. Loving these. I think they had other ones, and now I, I think I'm gonna have to go back and get all of them. I really think I, I must have them all. So this is our last one. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Putting the whole thing out there for you. So, oh my goodness. Okay, pretty. Very, uh, this one's very romantic. Loving this one. I don't necessarily love the ones well, it's supposed to be a butterfly, isn't it? Is it a butterfly? Or dragonfly. It's supposed to be a dragonfly. I love the peonies. I do absolutely adore the peonies because I just love peonies. When I lived in Wisconsin, I, I uh, had a really beautiful peony bed. And I've struggled to bring them back here. I did actually have a, a really nice peony bed started. And then we hired someone to mow the lawn and he didn't realize for whatever reason and mowed them down. It's very sad. Look at that one. That's, those are beautiful. Love those. Oh my. I really, really need to get more of those. Okay, so, I'm gonna do it this way actually. The next thing I have for you all, this is a little bit different. I have not, I don't think I've ever bought ones like this before. So I found this, these tags and I thought those are gorgeous. And so they're just plain white on the back, but absolutely, and they're meant to be bookmarks. So I will be using these in junk journals and I will probably add a backing to them. And then I think I'm going to add um, a protector right at the, uh, the circle with the, the hole. These really are pretty. Can you see them well enough? I'm gonna move these in a little bit. Oh my golly. I love the mushrooms. Oh, that's two of the same one. I'm Interesting. Look at the fox. There's a, so there are a couple of ones in here that are duplicated. That one was, oh, well, there's the fox again. It's in a different place. Look at the bunny. 
So I, I really am loving these tags. I think that they are gorgeous. Um, this paper is even a little bit heavier than the last one, although I would still probably put it on cardstock. Um, but really love that one. There is nothing not to love there. Now I did buy one and only one pack of stickers. Try not to lose my mind. Uh, but these are, well, let me just show you because I saw some of these and I did lose my mind. I'm going to see how close I can get you. Oh, I've heard. Uh, there, I, the only thing I can say is stinking cute about all of them. These are, oh, look at that one. So I will say, you know, there are certainly some here that are very much Easter, but some of them can be for other, there are plenty of things here for other time periods or other, you know, other things. Look at that one. She's like straight from a Beatrice Potter, I swear. Ah, super cute. These have more of a matte finish to them. Um, so, and I'm liking that. Um, I, I don't like the shiny finish. And I, you guys have all been really wonderful. I've had some fabulous um, suggestions and uh, directions about how to get the shiny off. Because you guys are fabulous. I love that one. I love all of these. I have to say so far, I haven't found anything here I do not love. <laughs> okay, super cute. Wow. I'm trying to get it so it's dead center for you. I do think sometimes it's interesting how um, you can see the change in design. These are gorgeous also, but it's a different artist. And I do think that that's interesting sometimes to see that on Timu. Um, because you don't often see it in other places, but when Timu, I'm going to move this out of the way. When Timu really, you know, when some of the, one of their packages changes artists. I mean, this one's got the little face on it. Either that or the artist says, well, and then, you know, then we're back again, back and forth. Some artists do, of course, have different styles. She's so cute. <gasps> Look at that one. <laughs> Just loving these. Oh, my goodness. Really, really loving them. Okay. Close it in. Oh, and then again, I mean, that's very different from some of the other ones. It's just funny and adorable. It's funny and adorable. I can live with that. Okay, so those are all of the stickers. It must have been about 50. Um, they don't, sometimes they tell you and sometimes they don't. And we're almost done, actually. Shockingly. So the last thing I have to show you are, of course, charms. I have to order the charms. It's kind of a requirement now. Actually, I don't think I, I don't actually think I have any in the next order. So I found a, a few that were just so cute. It's kind of hilarious. These are, I just can't. It's a little frying pan with an egg. How do you not love that? So those are going to be earrings. Those are going to be earrings because they're so stinking cute. They are hilarious. And I'm going to keep a pair for myself because I just think they're so fun. Put that one. Then... Show these. These are so cute. I was telling Kate, um, poor Griffin, he, he can be a little accident prone. And 
I uh, love, we love peanuts. So we buy peanuts in sort of these bigger containers, local, and then we, we buy local peanuts. And he, one of the, one of the containers, it's pretty light. It was empty. It was sitting on, the, um, my Gareth had washed it and put it on the kitchen table. Somehow, uh, little Brit knocked it over. It hit his big toe just right. And, um, and really, really hurt him. I mean, he's didn't break the toe, but he's, he's going to lose the toenail and it was hard for him to walk today because there's some swelling. It's just crazy how th something can hit you like, like that. And, um, and hit you in, you know, just the right place to cause that kind of damage. Cause normally it should have just, you know, shouldn't have caused anything. That poor kid. So he went to school for half a day today and then brought him home so he could put his foot up because it was just getting too painful to walk around. That poor boy. All right, last but not least are these stinking cute carrots. These are just adorable. Again, I cannot wait to, I'm getting the camera right. I can't wait to make these into earrings. I will absolutely keep a pair of these for myself. So you're going to get two, four, six, eight. That's weird. That's nine. I think it was supposed to be ten. No, it's nine pieces. Nine pieces. Um, so I, I almost think I need to order another one of these because I think these are adorable. Well, I probably won't. Uh, I will tell you, I probably won't order another pair of these for this year because Easter is so early. Um, and uh, my and my next show that I'm scheduled for right now is not until April. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw some wonderful things. I will try to link the um, the links to everything in the description box, and I will also go ahead and link the um, my most recent video that included that faux leather that we talked about. And um, there was another video I was supposed to link. You guys will remind me. <laughs> I forget. All right. I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Cheers.